and welcome to The Influencers with me, Sarah Rainey. Joining me today is baking extraordinaire and the woman who once created a sculpture of me out of cake, Juliette Sear. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, as it's I referenced... me flashbacks now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> as I said, we did once meet many moons ago when you made a sculpture of my face out of cake. I did. It was actually it was a, it was a whole kind of like bust, wasn't it? It was. It mm, was. Very challenging. Shame. Was that one of the weirder commissions you've had in your baking career or what have some of the weirder ones been? Well, that definitely was one of the weirdest, I'd say. Like, yeah. it's, it's quite... It's obviously really, really hard to sort of create that sort of thing. And I will say that you were responsible for another commission after and someone ordered a cake so they'd seen your one. I've had done lots of weird and wonderful bakes. Yeah. Um, I had to create a three metre high chocolate bunny once and oh, I was wow. like, like in Miss Mission Impossible on scaffolding, like on top of it. I had a job um, a few years ago, uh, a brand came to me and they asked me to make this, the world's first edible Christmas jumper, right. which actually had to be worn. <gasps> and I said to them, you know, you know me, I can sort of like do lots of different things. I will take the job on, but I can't guarantee you that we will be able to do it. So yeah. if you're happy for me to try, I w and it, thankfully it worked, but sometimes there's things I think, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. You must struggle to keep a straight face with some of these things. Some of the things people ask you to make, you must think, really? Oh, no, I love it. I think the weird, the weird and wonderful is like right up my street. So. You're going to get some weird requests after this, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your book, Botanical Baking, uh, came out last year, and it's all sorts of baking with uh, edible flowers and herbs. It looks absolutely delicious. Can you tell us a little bit about it and what was the inspiration behind it? Over the years, well, when I first started, Cakes are very much marzipan, sugar paste, and gradually, since I started out, cakes have got much more natural, a yeah. lot more buttercream. So I've been working a lot with really beautiful edible, edible flowers for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, I'd found a lovely farmer and had sort of like been, you know, experimenting with a few simple designs with like petals and things. And I just um, had just been seeing so many more varieties of flowers and leaves and things coming out. So I just thought there's a book in this. So we have recently seen you on our screens, Beautiful Baking with Juliet Sear. Yeah. I think the series has just ended. Yes. For those people who haven't seen it, can you tell us a little bit about what, what, what it's about? What does it tell us? It's all about kind of my passion for baking. I, I love to inspire people to bake and it demystifies lots of things. It's quite fun. Um, so we'll bake loads of savoury and sweet yeah. um, recipes. Um, a, lot, the, a lot of the stuff I like to make, I like it to sort of be a showstopper or look really impressive mm -hmm. so a lot of the stuff is kind of quite eye-catching but we'll break it down make it really simple so I mean loads of people are sending me pictures on the day where they're baked to things on the day um, but I kind of try and just have fun and we show things that go wrong and it's just quite fun really right let the fun begin now I'm gonna fill my tart I've got my tart case over here I'm gonna fill it with the lovely mascarpone pesto cheesy filling and you can see it's fairly thick Just gonna level it off. This is a vegetable rose tart, and basically it means when you look from above, it looks like a gorgeous open rose. Wow, that looked delicious. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were making in that clip? Yeah, so again, you know, I sort of said about how I like things to be eye-catching, because I really think you eat with your eyes as well, you know. So um, that was a savoury vegetable tart, so it's quite artful. Um, and you just basically um, get many different vegetables and cut them into ribbons and then wind them into a kind of, like, rose yeah. shape. In the um, show, we have lots of, like, kind of, um, like, wacky things. Like I could do this huge um, hot dog wreath and things like that. Just oh, great. I quite like people to sort of, like, come to the table and be like, oh, wow, this is amazing, because yeah. it's just, it's fun, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So what's this one? So this one, um, so um, with the uh, show, we had themes. So this is about a winter woodland party. Yeah. And I've actually worked with Dev before. Um, this is Dev Griffin. Yeah, he's kind. lovely. Yeah. And this cake was inspired by a cake that I made for Antonio Carluccio's 80th birthday. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and it's a delicious um, frangelico and hazelnut tort uh -huh. and then yeah just kind of create made to look like a tree stump yeah. and obviously you've built up a really good bank of clientele over the years which must have started in those early days among yeah. them quite a lot of celebrities I mean you've mentioned Antonio Carluccio and I know some of the other people you've you've baked for Prince Harry you've yeah. baked for various other people Serena McKellen yeah. tell me a little bit about the some of the the top celebrity commissions oh, who are the gosh. best people you've, you've been asked to make oh, cakes for that's a hard one um I mean when we got when we did Kate Moss's 40th, that was quite great because, yeah. I mean, she's brilliant. Um, and everyone was so excited, especially the person who was going to be delivering it. They were like, oh, Kate Moss. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I've done so many. It's hard. I think the probably most weird and wonderful cake and 
it was lovely. It was lovely actually. It was for Peaches Geldof's wedding. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, that was like she was so sure about what she wanted, and her cake literally had about ten different themes all on one cake. And I was like, how am I going to make this mm -hmm. look good? She wanted like pigs in wigs and um, a dog holding a wok, and she wanted some lace and blah blah. blah. But we we did wow. it and we pulled it off, and it looked really pretty, and it was like really really lovely. What did you make for Prince Harry? Um, we just did his thirtieth actually. Oh, lovely. Um, so it's a just Invictus Games themed oh. cake. Oh, well, Juliet, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. It's been really lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.